Welcome to Vegan Kiwis to Pistachio. So what's interesting is this one is lactose free, which is a good thing since I'm a vegan. You want to make sure before you go and buy your pasta. But this one goes out of its way to give you a little symbol right over here, right there, underneath my finger. And it says lactose free. Got a double guarantee. So if it's got a double guarantee, it probably was bought at Aldi's because it's got to replace the product and refund your money. Okay, so it seems like watching the pot is never going to make it boil. So what I decided to do is put the lid on top of it to make it grow a little faster. Okay, so the water is boiling. Now we're putting in the pasta. Now you need to consider this before putting in salt. If you boil the pasta exactly the way it is now, it's going to be kind of blah looking pasta. Salt changes the temperature, the water temperature. Might have to be there a full eight minutes to get the... But, you know, I think it's worth the risk. I use so little salt anyway. This is just Himalayan sea salt, no iodine. When I start feeling that I need iodine, I eat seaweed. Okay, so we're gonna let this going for a while and let it boil. I'm gonna set the timer for six and a half minutes because I was talking for you for at least half a minute. By then it should be more than ready. This is what it looks like at three minutes. Now ah, the timer is wrong. Turn off the heat. You know, I have a mitt. With two oven mitts, gently pour the, the pasta into the strainer. Assembly. So I'm just gonna make a plate for me, and I'll have a sit or serving for later. Take some of your topping. Try to do it without the juice. See how colorful it is? I take the almond cheese and pour it over the top of that. And it's ready to eat. So this is what you can do. You have some leftovers and what you can do is you can incorporate it with some, some looking cool looking shell pasta like this, which is perfect for me. Let's see what it tastes like. It's got a very nice flavor. Now the pasta is just a little al dente. But I don't like mushy pasta, so for me it works. But if you're the type of person, then if and you use these type of shell pastas, you might have more, want to leave it in there for the full eight minutes. Thank you for watching this recreation again. And that's why you shows you another way of being able to use your leftover meals into other dishes. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up.